Hey everyone, this is Teresa from Base 10 Montessori, and today we're gonna go over what it looks like to do multiplication with the golden bead system. Now today we are gonna do both static and dynamic multiplication, and it's gonna look a lot like addition. However, there are gonna be some differences in the way we lay out the materials and the way we describe the materials. Now for this lesson, it's really nice if you have three students, but you can make this work with less students. Maybe if you only have one student, they have to get the same number several times, but it's always kind of fun if you can get about three students to do this lesson with you. Now, instead of the box that we used for subtraction, we're just gonna use this box as our teacher box today. And all that's in here are unit cards. And I'm gonna show you what we do with those in just a few minutes. But for right now, we're gonna put this on the teacher side of the mat. Now I'm gonna try to go through this pretty quickly because it is so similar to addition. And by the way, hopefully you don't mind the fact that my neighbor is mowing the lawn. So if you hear a lawnmower, I apologize. Hopefully that doesn't distract you, but we're gonna try to move through multiplication fairly quickly because it is so similar to addition that I think you'll pick up on it pretty quickly. It's just the layout that's gonna look a little different. And then of course, the way we describe what multiplication is, is gonna differ from addition, right? So to start with, we're gonna have the same layout that we did for addition. We're gonna have the children set up their tables with their small cards the same way that we do for addition. And then we're gonna have the large cards. And of course, we're gonna have the bank. So if you don't know what any of that stuff is, if you're not really sure what I'm talking about, go back to my addition video, watch my addition video, and then you'll be all set for picking up on what we're doing here with multiplication. So let's start at the very beginning. And we're gonna invite three children to do multiplication with us. And the first child, we're gonna send that child to get a number and a quantity. So the first child will come to the rug with their number and their quantity, and today's number is 2,231. So that's what they have in beads and cards. So this first child is gonna come and we're gonna ask them, what did you bring me? And they should be able to read the card and they should be able to tell you the quantity. And instead of putting our cards in order like this at the very top all together and putting our beads in a basket to join together like we did for addition, we're gonna do something different this time. So watch the layout that I'm about to do because it's really important with multiplication to get the right layout. So child one will put their cards over here. And then we're also gonna lay out their quantity, but we're gonna lay it out in a line this time. We're gonna make sure that it doesn't go down. It's gonna go across. So we've got our 2,000, 200, 10, 20, 30, and one. Okay, so there's child one. And so now we're ready to move on to the second child. So what's fun about multiplication is that every time you give the child a number, the numbers are gonna be exactly the same. So if you give the first child 2,231, you also have to give the same number to the second child. So the second child, we're gonna say, can you bring me 2,231 in both beads and cards or symbols and quantities, however you wanna phrase that. And so the second child will come back and we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna put our cards over here and we are gonna place our golden beads in the exact same format. Okay, so when the first child and the second child have brought their numbers and their quantities over, then you can tell the third child, can you bring me 2,231 in both cards and beads or quantity and symbol? And so the third child will come back and we'll do exactly the same thing as before. All right, so as you can see, we now have three numbers and we have the quantity to go with them. And what do you notice about the layout? What do you notice about this format? It looks a little bit different than addition because in addition, we just piled everything together. But this time we really want to see the format of each number out. That way we know that it matches. This reinforces the idea that I'm creating the exact same number, the exact same quantity over and over again. So it's really important to see how these match as we go along. 
So at this point, we can go ahead and start counting our quantities, starting with the units. So let's do that. One, two, three. We have three units, so we'll need to go to our large number mat and get the symbol for three. There we go, that's three. Now let's go ahead and count our tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So this is 90. I'm just gonna put all these together so that I can make some room at the top. Now let's do the same for hundreds. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. 600, right? And I'm just stacking these together so that we'll have enough room to see what I'm doing at the top. Usually I'd leave it laid out, but I'm a little limited for space for the camera right here. All right, so let's go over to our thousands. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000. And now, of course, my favorite part, we have to put it together. And do the magic slide right here. So when we brought all these beads together, we made 6,693, but we're not done yet. You see how these numbers over here, they're exactly the same. How many times did we build 2,231? Let's count. We built it once, two times, and then three times. You know what, there's an easier way to show this. Let me show you what it looks like. So if we built 2,231 once, twice, and then three times, we can stack them all together and we can go over here to our box. And I'm gonna get out this card that says three and that's going to tell us we built that number three times. So when we have the number 2,231 and we build it three times, we get a really large number. And that number is 6,693. And so this is the format that we use for multiplication. We're going to go this way this time. And that's how we show multiplication. Now, what if we have to do dynamic multiplication. What if we have to exchange? What would that look like? Well, I'm gonna show you really quick by just changing one number. Okay, so now we have a layout that's gonna force us to exchange. So we have 2,241 and we've built it three times. So now we need to join these together. So let's do the same thing we did before. We have one, two, three units. I'm gonna pull this down so it's just a little bit easier to see three units. And so far that's the same, right? That's what we had last time. But now something different is going to happen when we get to our tens. So let's start counting. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Stop. Let's count how many tens we have one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Stop. We have 10 tens, that makes 100. And what do we do when we get to 10? We have to stop and exchange. It's the same rule as addition. When we get to 10, we have to stop and exchange. So let's take our 10 tens to the bank. 10 tens is 100. So we're gonna exchange this for 100. And then we'll come back. So we've taken our 10 tens to the bank. We've come back with 100. And can we put our 100 here with the tens? No, this doesn't match. It needs to go where it matches. So we'll put it over here. Now, how many tens do we have left? One ten, two tens. Now let's go to our large number cards and get the symbol for two tens, which is 20. There we go, two tens is 20. This is 20, this says 20. Now let's count our hundreds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have 700. Let's go find the symbol that matches 700. Here it is, and I'm gonna stack this down here so that you can see a little bit better. 
All right, and now we're gonna count our thousands just like we did last time. One, two, three, four, five, six, six thousand. That part looks the same as before, doesn't it? So we've gone to our large number cards, we've gotten 6,000, let's do the magic slide. And there it is. So we had 2,241 and we built it how many times? One, two, three times. So that means we can get our three card over here, put it right there. And we can stack this up because this tells us how many times we built it. So we have 2,241 and we built that three times. And when we join them together, we create the bigger number 6,723. Now, let's tell the story of multiplication because we didn't do that the first time through. So let's make sure and tell that story of multiplication every single time so that the child understands it. So we have the number 2,241 and we built it three times. And we got this big number of 6,723. So what is multiplication? When we have two or more equal numbers at the exact same time, we call it multiplication. So we have the exact number over and over and over again. And this number right here tells us how many times we're gonna build it. And that's it. That's as simple as multiplication gets with the golden beads. So we've done static multiplication and we've done dynamic multiplication. So as you can see, multiplication works the same as addition as far as the counting and exchanging goes, but it's the format that we're gonna change. We're gonna change the format and how we build our cards and how we lay out our beads so that we can see that the number is being repeated. And our teacher box, because we are working with lower numbers, we're not gonna get into double digits. All you need is the unit cards for your teacher box to show how many times we're gonna build a number. So that's all I have for you today. I hope you've liked this video. I hope this helps. If you have any questions or any comments, leave them down below. And if you like what I'm doing here, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next video.